Hi. I don't know how to hold this mic. This sound off. <laughs> well, this can't sound good. Duh. Duh. Anyway, um... I'm not going to put that in the video because that would be a horrible way to start it. I have to be a little quiet because everyone is still sleeping or some people are still sleeping. My family has an uncanny ability to sleep in the middle of the floor as people are walking around and talking and making breakfast and everything like that. I'm in Korea, if it wasn't clear. And while I'm in Korea, I'm celebrating Chuseok. I wanted to uh, do something to celebrate a little bit because this year I have not been able to keep up with my Korean studies. That's a sad fact about being busy with the project. Um, and Iron Lung is just, I haven't been able to keep up with the things that I, I still consider to be very important, but sometimes it is very easy to forget about. Because up until like the very beginning of this year, I was progressing in my understanding of Korean, and I'm still to the point where I can hear it very well, and I can pay attention to everything that's happening in the conversation and not get lost 90% of the time. Um, but it hasn't progressed, because every day with this project, I've been busy, I've been working on it. I mean, every day. And that's not a bad thing. It just is sad when I get over here and I think about that I could have progressed over the past eight months and I could be, you know, even farther. Um, so I wanted to do something that kind of commemorated that um, and also reminded myself that there's a journey that I still need to take beyond just the work that I'm proud of. There's also like the personal stuff that I'm very proud of, of, of advancing my understanding on who I am as a person, advancing my understanding of my history and like my family's history. So Cloak now has a Chuseok drop. If you go to cloakbrand.com, you can see that. Um, I was supposed to bring it. I didn't, I didn't pack it. So just imagine I'm wearing it. This is why no one will ever sponsor me. <laughs> I have to have my own clothing company that I'm still very bad at promoting uh, because I can't. I want to really get in touch with who I am. And I want to invite you guys along for the journey. I want you guys to also see... Um, you know, Korean culture and explore Korean heritage as I'm learning it, you know, I'm learning it too, but also I kind of want it to be, um, this gateway to bring some Korean fashion, you know, into cloak and not even that I'm a fashionable person, but I kind of want to be, you know, I may need to collaborate with, um, some fashion based YouTubers, uh, to teach me their ways. But the thing that I've learned in my time is that you can learn pretty much anything. It is never too late to learn something. It it might be too late for me to be really, really good at something, but at least I can have a basic understanding. Um, and if I'm going to have a clothing company, I probably should do that. So I'm starting that now. And I'm going to actually document the journey as I go along. That's kind of what next year is going to be, is really me focusing on, you know, my Korean side of things. I want to, I want to collaborate with Korean YouTubers. I want to collaborate with like, obviously fashion YouTubers and stuff like that. I want to, I just want to get out more. I've been very insular on the projects that I work on and I'm very proud of it and I'm very happy to do it. But also, you know, I sometimes feel like I live in a bubble where I'm so busy working on my own thing that I don't even share the things that I'm working on with you guys, let alone other YouTubers and other, you know, peers or on TikTok or anywhere. And so I want to, you know, I want to, I don't know, seems fun. So I'm going to do it. That's kind of been my only motivation to doing anything. So it seems fun. I'm going to do it. Anyway, you can check it out at clickbrand.com. Um, but I have another favor to ask my phone go. So I have cousins, right? I have many cousins. Um, so my, my cousin, Yajin, um, she is a hairstylist and she's actually toured around the world with um, a few K-pop bands. I believe Big Bang and I don't know my K-pop bands, um, but many others. She's told me about it before, but I forget what they are now. You get work based on your social media presence, apparently. And this is not relatively new. You guys probably know this already. But uh, for my cousin, she's very talented and she's worked with a great many people and she's toured around the world with them. But lately, because her Instagram is not what other people's are. She's not able to get as much work. So that's my cousin. This is my cousin's Instagram. She's very good, I think. She offered to do my hair and she wanted to do a video and I will do that eventually with her. I will do a video where she styles my hair. Um, I have to keep this hair just for the movie and maintain this. That's why I look so scruffy. That's why the beard is like this. I swear to God, I look more kept together. <laughs> 
on my usual days. Uh, but nowadays I look like this and I can't wait to be done with that. Um, but for now, if you can give her a follow, because it's, it's not even just about like the follower count when she is on tour with these bands, <laughs> this is why I hate this hair. When she's on tour with these bands and they tag her in pictures uh, because she interacts with them every day. She does her hair, stylist, stuff like that. You know, people get very jealous of that. They see, who is this? Why is she able to interact with the, the, the K-pop groups that I like? And so she gets a lot of hate. And it's totally undeserved. Um, give her a follow and support her work. She's family and she does good work. And it'll help her in the future. I'm going to do an Instagram Live with my mom. Um, she wants to start a YouTube channel. Um, so I'm going to help her with that. She's been in videos that I've made, but I don't think she understands the actual full process of doing YouTube stuff. So I'm going to try to teach her. And we're going to talk about that tomorrow, I believe. Today we're going to do some uh, go eating. We're going to eat. We're going to eat a lot. That's what Chuseok really is for my family in a way. We eat. We eat nonstop. And we barbecue outside. And we eat. If there's one thing that Koreans love to do, it's eating. So I'm going to go eat with my family. Thank you, guys. Uh, links are in the description for everything. Uh, if you don't remember, go back and look at it. Thank you. Bye. Uh, uh.